good, yo. Got a super busy week ahead of me. All that new hamburger came out at Arby's again. Go get y'all some of that. Since that new hamburger came back out again, that means peace counts is way up. That means at the once Friday night hit, man, I'm in the house on the bed. I, at the gym, I ain't moving a muscle. So I'm gonna be tired. We gotta get this bag. We gotta get this $2,300, $2,400 bag, whatever it is. It's something like that. We gotta get this bag, right? After, ta after tax, might add. But I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. It depends on how much, how, which way do y'all want it today? Which way do y'all want it? Rejection, the doubters, or the haters? I guess I'll just ramble all over the place with it. As long as you get it in your mind, your body and your soul, that's all that matters. Now when it comes to rejection, Uh, all it is, if you if you a man, basically all it is is a woman thinking that a, a, she can, she thinks she can do better than you, or, or she might think you, she might like you and shit, but she she don't believe that you can provide her the best, you know, life experience with when it comes to being with a man. So she's going to reject you, right? Or she's going to pick the other guy, right? I say to you, don't get mad over that. Don't worry about it. Use it as fuel. So when you become this great guy, and you get a woman, she just gotta sit back and watch. Because nine times out of 10, if you're on a high level, she's rejecting you. Nine times out of 10, it's because she doesn't want a guy who is on a higher level, nine times out of 10. Or she might think that somebody, she could do better. It could be either or, to be honest. But a lot of times they fear guys who are doing great things, remember that. Especially if that woman is not doing great things, that's the key. That woman is, you know, down here a little bit, you're up there, that might be the reason. But if she's up there too, then she probably thinks she could do better. Nevertheless, I don't look at rejection as I'm not good enough. I look at it as what I just told y'all. Either she thinks somebody else is better, which don't mean that I'm not good enough. I could be better than the guy she thinks better. And that happens often, more often than what y'all think. Just like it happens with women and vice versa. Women think by default, if a guy doesn't want them, then uh, he likes another guy, girl better. And a lot of times it ain't that. And we're going to get into why a lot of times men like girls, women too. You know what I'm saying? But to me, either she thinks a guy is better or she don't trust and believe in my, my ability to make her life the best experience on earth as far as dealing with a man. So either way, she can go. You know, go deal with your beta male, go deal with your, go deal with your beta male, go deal with your simp, go deal with your liar, go deal with your cheater, go deal with whatever. See, when you know your worth, when you know your worth, when you know you don't need a gas station pill to stay hard, when you know you're not small, you know you pack it, when you know you're a handsome guy, when you know you got money on deck, when you know you got a heart of gold, and when you know you can treat a woman right and not cheat, you don't give a fuck if she picks somebody else because it's her loss. The same thing with y'all women. When you know you got all these things going on to offer a man, why do you care if he picks someone else? It's his loss, not yours. Even if he thinks somebody else is better, it's still his loss. Even if you're an ugly woman and he picks a girl that looks good, it's still his loss more, more than likely. Unless that good looking girl is going to bring all the intangibles that you got and I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that most men are going to bring all the things I just named that I can offer a woman. I doubt it because I know how men are. 
So I laugh when women do this because I know they're about to run into a freight train. Oh, you didn't pick me? That's kind of funny because I know my dudes are going to play you. See, I don't even got to get mad at a woman because I already know the dudes are going to do the job for me. I don't got to get a woman back. Revenge for what? The only revenge going to be is when I pick a woman and she lives better than you and has a better man than you. But other than that, I don't have to get a woman back because of rejection because I already know how men get down. I know my worth. How do I know my worth? Because I know how other men are. I know other men cheat. I know other men don't want one woman. I know other men don't care about love. You know what I'm saying? That's my worth. That's knowing my worth compared to the market. She might not know my worth. A woman might not know your worth. But if you know you solid, you're good. Don't switch up nothing. Goodbye. Go. See, they want you to beg and plead. Don't leave. Don't stay. Nobody got time for that. Does that bad guy got to beg and plead for her to stay? No. She's begging him. So why would you stoop to that level of being the beggar when she begs another guy to stay with her? Make it make sense. And the same vice versa with y'all women. A lot of times y'all begging men to stay, but he's begging a woman to stay. He all up on a woman, you all up on him. Make it make sense. He ain't the only woman, in the, the only man in the world that, that is like that. And more than likely, you probably could do better. She ain't the only woman in the world that looks like this or that. More than likely, you could probably do better. So why sweat them? It's their loss. They don't see it. That's the problem. They didn't believe in you. Which brings me to my next point. Doubters. Doubters, man. Not just with relationships, with everything in life. Nah, I don't want to be a business partner with him. You know, he, he don't look like he's doing this or that. Then you blow up on their ass, right? You blow up on their ass and shit. Or she just doubts you because she thinks that you ain't going to be who you say you are. This guy seems better right now, so I'm gonna choose this guy. Which in a way she should, right? And that's fine that they doubt you. In the end though, make them believers. All the people who said you wasn't good enough, you wasn't good looking enough, you wasn't this or that. Some of them might even doubt. Nah, I ain't gonna go there. I ain't gonna go there because I don't know individual individual people. Let's just say this. Some women think the nice guys don't know how to fuck. Let's say that. Or they or they won't be happy with that guy. Whatever they think, man. They still doubt you. They still think you can't make them happy like that next guy. Or they still think that your worth is not what the fuck it is because they don't know your worth. See, it takes a woman who knows her own worth to know your worth. It takes a man to know his worth, to know your worth. He cannot see your worth if he doesn't see his own worth. But I love doubters because doubters is more fuel to the fire. Rejection, fuel to the fire. Doubters, fuel to the fire. Haters, fuel to the fire. And people are going to hate you when you're doing great. So don't get discouraged by that. You're going to have a lot of less friends. <laughs> you're not going to have many friends. And, and a lot of times, low key, the opposite gender be hating on you. Now, I can't fuck with him. He's doing too good. He's doing better than me. Believe that. You think Y'all think it's all about a woman picking the best man that she can get on. It's not always that. That's not always the truth. A lot of times they, they're they're uh, intimidated by a, a very successful, great dude, man. Because a lot of women are in competition. That's all they do is compete with each other, and by default they compete with men too. Or, or they don't really like you. You you don't make their pussy tingle, but they know deep down in their heart they know. He's going to make a woman happy one day. And the guy I'm with ain't shit. 
So they gonna hate you. Because they really don't like you. You know what I'm saying? But they know they they know that you're gonna give a woman what they really want, what they really desire, but they're stuck with dumb fuck. Dumb fuck makes their pussy tingle, not you, or makes them feel a certain way. You know what I mean? You don't. So they're not gonna pick you. But they know that they see the potential in you, so they're gonna hate. A lot of men gonna hate because they they just simply lazy. Men, uh, any man can do what the next man can do if he stop being lazy, if he starts sacrificing, put down so much, put down some of the damn beer and weed and all that other dumb shit. Put down some of the women to actually go to bed so you can get up and go to work for the next day. Stop calling off and shit. We all have the same opportunity, but instead of them doing that, I'd rather just hate on you. It's easier to just hate on you than to actually um, move, try to become the better version for myself as well. Or since I failed, you know, I don't want to get back up. I failed, 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 you know, failed and failed, same thing. And I don't want to get back up on the horse. So instead, I'm just going to hate you. But let me go back to the doubters for a second and rejection. Sometimes it's a blessing that somebody doubted you or rejected you. Because you have men and women right now with people who did not reject them, but they're with the wrong person. You know, beta, a lot of beta males right now um, got picked because they're beta males. But if they were solid ass alpha males, they probably got re rejected. Then you got some guys who are getting rejected because they, because they are, are beta males instead of solid alpha males. And let's hypothetically say that the women had this shit correct. We're not talking about, you know, just the opinion of woman because it could be incorrect. But let's say they had it correct when it came to alphas and betas. You have some alphas that are getting rejected by women who, who really want betas. They don't want to deal with the alpha, right? Then you have some betas who are not getting rejected by the wrong women because they want to run those men. So really, he's not lucky. And you can't see it because he looked like an alpha, he talked like one, he acted like one. He must be one. No, nah, not necessarily, dog. Not necessarily, bro. You know, everybody out here alpha, according to all men who work around this motherfucker. I don't consider myself an alpha yet. I'm getting there though. Believe that shit. Believe that shit. I got the potential to become the. Because you know, when it comes to me, I'm not going to be satisfied, dog. I'm not satisfied. I'm going to keep being the best version of myself until I'm really an alpha. Like all across the board. Ain't no, ain't no cheek in the armor. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of men did get rejected. Because they was alpha, you know? And that's a fact. So sometimes y'all think that these women are rejecting you and shit because you um, are weak. Or some of y'all women think, so, like I said, some women didn't get lucky and get rejected by the wrong guy. You know, they got accepted by the guy, you know? But then you got some men who are rejecting you because you are a solid woman. they rather go after the woman that they can get more off on. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. It's a blessing, but some people didn't get so lucky. What about the woman who uh, didn't get rejected by the wrong guy, but had a kid by him and all that shit? Think about it. Well, who knows what could have happened? Maybe he got. Maybe he's using the person or something. That's why I tell y'all, man. Look at rejection and, and doubters and haters as blessings, because that's what it is. You need this shit to win. Because haters will teach you what to look for in people, like why not to trust people or what's wrong. Oh, that's not right. I don't trust that. The vibe and all that shit. When you're in the streets and shit, you get certain vibes. And those vibes never leave you. You know when something's not right. Like, wait a minute. I don't know if I should go to that spot over there. It don't seem right. You just know. You, you just know. I don't think I should be a relationship counselor. I just talk about life. 
You know what I mean? Because a relationship counselor would have to address a certain individual relationship. And I don't think I'm equipped for that. I could be, but I don't like to talk about a certain like individual relationship because I don't have all the real details. This guy could be saying she did this and she could be saying he did that. If you notice, I don't talk about a person's relationship. I just talk about worldwide relationship shit. Everything that all of us could relate to. Not necessarily telling somebody advice on a relationship. Like, don't do this or you should do this with your wife or that. I don't know, that's tough. That's tough because if I'm not there and I don't understand the real truth, then it's almost impossible. But if it comes to my relationship, if I got a relationship, then I can do that because I can see what's really going on 100%. You know what I'm saying? 100%. But, like I said, man, um, a lot of y'all, man, um, sometimes rejection is a blessing. Again, you got, you know, everybody thinks the alpha, oh, she picks the alpha all the time, 24-7. All women want the alpha. That's a lie. That's a lie. All women do not want an alpha. Some betas got picked because they're fucking betas, and, and in the end, they're going to get ran through the cleaners. Period, because that, and you know what? If those betas was alphas, more alpha like men, they would have spotted the shit that was going on, or they spotted it, but they was too weak to do something about it. Same thing with the women, because you got alpha women and beta women. A lot of uh, beta women spotted the bullshit that the men was doing, but they didn't do nothing about it. They say he cheated, you blatantly cheated, you know he did, but you're gonna be a beta woman and stay. Or you know he don't really like you, but you're going to still be a beta woman and try to make the guy like you. Instead of saying, no, I'm moving the fuck on with my life. That's why I'm saying rejection is needed. But it's how you react to it. Doubters are needed, but it's how you react to it. Haters are needed, but it's how you react to it. To me, again, rejection just means that she think it, it means a few things. It could mean, it don't mean, to most people, rejection means I'm not good enough. To me, it doesn't mean that. It means that she thinks another guy's better than me, or she doesn't believe that I have what it takes to make her experience on earth the best possible when with a man. So, goodbye. I'm not going to be beta about it. Like, please don't do it. I'm going to show you that I'm the best. No, goodbye. Goodbye. And when I get a woman, don't get mad. Don't hate. Don't Leave us the fuck alone. Leave us alone. Because that's more fuel to the fire. And, and I know my worth. Right? A woman should know her worth too. As a woman, you should know that most women out here ain't moving correctly. So if a man doesn't pick you, nine times out of ten, you ain't got to get mad. You ain't got to sla slash his tires, bust his window, none of that. Nine times out of ten, the woman he really like, he going to choose and she going to shit on you. Plain and simple. You just keep self-improving so you can make a man happy that actually deserves it. You're probably going to get a better man than him anyway. So that's why I laugh when a woman thinks that I'm not good enough because I know my worth. And I know most men ain't bringing what I bring to the table. And all, most importantly, I know most men don't want to be faithful. So you got to share them. My woman ain't got to share me and have all the benefits. Who's really winning? That's why I say it's their fault. That's your stupidity. You, I'm not about to convince a motherfucker to like me. That's not my job. You should already know if you like me or you should already like me. Did that other motherfucker that treats you like shit, did he have to convince you to like him? No. So why would I? Did that other girl that treats him like shit have to, have to convince him to like her? No. So why should you? Why? It's like y'all think y'all got to do a magic trick to make a motherfucker like you, but you can't make somebody like you. Either they do or they don't. And if they don't, then use it as fuel, use it as motivation. 
Haters are not gonna like you. You can't make these haters like you. You could be nice as fuck to them and they still not gonna like you for whatever reasons. Oh well. The most high don't want them in your life. He don't want certain people around you. Because every see the most high see what you don't see. The most high knows your secret enemies. You know your blatant enemies, but the most high knows your blatant enemies and your secret enemies. What do I mean by secret enemies? People who you don't see what they say behind your back or do behind your back. For instance, a man could be with a woman right now or a woman could be with a man. You know, they go to work and that man or woman is doing shit behind their back at home. Only the most high knows at that point. And then the most high puts the, the uh, inter not intuition, but the, uh, yeah, intuition, I think is what it's called. Puts it in their heart, but a lot of people ignore it. Or the most high blatantly shows somebody that this person cheats and they're not, not your friend or whatever. And we still try to make, uh, make it right with them and be cool with them and all this other shit. Nah, man. Use it as motivation. Damn, another one lost. Another friend I can't be cool with. Another girl I gotta cut the fuck off. It is what it is, man. No time to tap dance and play patty cake with motherfuckers. Life is short. You wanna be a winner, you gotta keep moving. People know what the hell they doing. A lot of times y'all think these men or women, like I said before, doubters, you know, haters or whatever, y'all think that, well, they don't like me because, you know, something wrong with me. Now, a lot of times haters don't like you because you're doing shit that they're not, they're not willing to do or you're doing better than them or whatever. They're not willing to put their drinks down. They're not willing to put the gloves down. They're not willing to leave up or should I say slow down on it? At least that. They're not willing to even do that. They're not willing to stop chasing the women. But then get mad at you when you can do the shit you do. Buy the shit you buy and all this. Don't need gas station pills to get hard. But they gonna get mad at you though. You weren't willing to sacrifice, dog. She gonna get mad at you because you chose to go to college and chase dreams instead of chasing a fucking man. Now, later on in life, you sitting pretty and, and, and still have a good chance to find a solid dude and she it's tougher for her. I don't know what these cars are going. But yeah, man, I'm about to get off here because I don't want to waste time today. And uh, I don't know what else to say, but I said all I can say in the video. You just have to watch the video as usual, right? But don't look for revenge on men, man. I'm telling you, your opposite, when you know your worth, as a woman or man, meaning I know that I do this for a woman, I know I'm not gonna cheat a woman, I'm not gonna cheat a man, blah, blah, blah. Knowing your worth, right? It ain't just, I can offer this and that's it. Nah, it's, it's more to it. It's more to it, and when I say more to it, I mean like, as far as the other women and men. Like when I listen to other women or uh, men, when I listen to other men talk about how they not gonna be faithful to women and shit, I know my worth. So if a woman think he he's better, he's better, I just laugh. Because I know 90% of men gonna cheat. And 90% of men ain't looking for no damn love. They not looking for one woman. So I win. That's why I laugh. In the end, she's gonna settle for a short end. And I'm gonna win. And then the woman who's dealing with me gonna win. Why the fuck would I care? Who really lost? And if you are a real woman and don't deny how most women are, you know that most women are gonna shit on these men. So when he don't wanna fuck with you, really it's his loss. If you a solid ass woman, it ain't a lot of y'all. Stop thinking that there's a billion uh, solid women. That's what most women think. It's a, an illusion, it's delusional. 
That's why when you talk about women on a video, they get offended. A lot of them get offended because they don't. They really believe in their mind that most women are solid, good women. That's foolish. That's not true. They might be good people, but as far as a good woman, no. They cheat. They lie. They deceive. Whatever, right? But if you're a good woman, you're you're very rare. So if he don't want you, he's gonna regret that in the end. Right now, most men, when they, when men are in a childish mindset when it comes to picking a woman, all they think about is sex and looks, right? But when they, when they, but solid men, solid men who are on their shit, they got more to lose, so they gotta look for more in a woman than just sex and looks. And that's why when that man picks a woman, that woman's gonna be happier than most women because most women are only gonna get men who only see sex and looks. That's it. You're disposable. I can get another woman because all I want is sex and looks. And if you a good ass dude, you're trying to climb up, same thing. You know most men ain't, ain't gonna be good to a woman. You know that, I know that. So if a woman don't wanna fuck with me, it's comedy. It really is, I don't take it as rejection, like I'm not good enough for her, though, that's what it is. Now I know better, I know better. She might like that other guy better, but I know how most men are, because I know my worth. I know my worth by knowing how most men, when, when I say know my worth, sexual mark of value. If you, same thing with a woman, you a good woman, your sexual mark of value. It don't matter about just looks. Because when you deal with a solid ass dude, he gonna look for more than just looks in a woman. He not gonna just pick a woman just cause of looks, I promise you. It's not gonna happen. That's part of being a, a good dude. That's part of being a, a worthy uh, partner. You know, a worthy partner don't just pick, well she look good, that's it. That's poor decision making. A worthy man picks he makes great decisions, right? How, how can you be a great man if you don't make great decisions? You're not gonna make, you're not gonna become a great man without making great decisions. It don't happen. Any man will tell you who made poor decisions at first and he started using his fucking skull, he'll tell you that this is how I really got here. You know, this is how I got, you think Jay-Z and them got to the top just being a dumb rockhead? No, nah, they start using their minds, man. I'm telling you, man. So, since that is the case, you have to make great decisions to become a great woman or man. They're going to make a great decision when they pick a woman and for a man nine times out of ten. You might have a few who make great decisions, but they made a poor decision when they pick somebody. It happens. Nobody's perfect, right? But you're going to have this shit, man. But you got to use it as fuel. You got to use it as fuel. You know, as a man, you gotta understand, these women, it's like a candy store. When they open their phone, 10,000 motherfuckers is in their shit, man. It's hard for you to stand the fuck out. But in the end, if they don't, if one of them don't pick you, you will get the last laugh. You will get the last laugh. Because in the end, what's gonna happen? They're just gonna get used up by a bunch of men, and you're still gonna be 10 toes down if, if you are a man that's on your shit. And she gonna look like, damn, I could've had it. I seen it happen with my own eyes. All the women used to laugh when I was in, you know, seventh grade and all that. I could look back at them like, thank God you didn't like me. I'm glad you didn't like me. Look at you, look at me. I could laugh back, but I don't. You know what I'm saying? That's The point is, you're going to get the last laugh. And if you're a woman and you stay solid, them men are going to regret that shit too. Because all those so-called beautiful hoes, that's all they're going to amount to. They're not going to amount to a solid ass woman. Eventually, when a man grows the fuck up when it comes to women, he's going to want a solid woman. But when he's not grown up in that area, of course he just wants looks and pussy. That's why he's rejecting good, solid women. Or he plays with them. When he gets them, I'm going to play with her. I'm just going to play with her and play with her and her and her and her. That's why he's doing that. But once a man knows the value of a real woman, he's not going to do that because once he knows that a virtual woman is hard as fuck to come across. So when he comes across one that he likes, he not gonna fuck that up. Neither is a woman. So if you a solid ass dude and a woman come across you, unless you just not her type, then she just don't know what the fuck a good dude is because she's not a good woman yet. There's no other explanation. That's why I laugh. Cause in the end I know what time it is. Not only do I just laugh about it, I just focus on getting money. I don't worry about trying to find love and all this shit. Most of these people are not offering no damn love out here, man. Most people ain't looking for love. They're looking for benefits and shit, man. So don't even look for love. Let let 
the universe bring that shit to you. Just focus on yourself and loving yourself until that time. Because I'm telling you, you go out there looking for it, you're going to get burned. Because most people are burned from loving, so now they want to play the game. Or they don't know how to love. Well, everybody knows how to love. I'm not even going to give nobody that excuse. That's bullshit. Everybody knows how to love. They don't want to love. They want to play the game. They think that they got forever. Well, I'm in my twenties right now, you know. I'm going. I got. I got them all on deck. They think they got that shit forever. It's kind of like a football player, you know, thinking that he's going to have this, this, um, these prime years forever. So I'm just going to fuck off all this money and do all this and do all that. Then when he's thirty, he ain't got. He fucking broke. Boxers broke. Need to fight at fifty years old because you took it for granted. Instead of moving like Floyd or moving like LeBron or all the, the smart ones. People take their they life for granted, man. And they're going to pay for it in the end. So let people be dumb and pass up on good people in life in general. Not just um, relationships. We talk about haters and all that shit too. Let them pass up on good people. Good people don't come like that. It's hard to find good people out here. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a good person, that's their loss in the end, man. It's not yours. But we think it's our loss, so we try to fix this shit, and, and we try to make people uh, fuck with us or accept us and all that. Don't do none of that shit, man. Because if they was meant to be in your life, they would it, it would be genuine. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to twist the arm of a, 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 a dude or a girl to fuck with me. I don't have to do that. If they really fuck with me, it would be genuine. And if they don't, I'm fine by myself. That's where that self that self love comes in. You gotta be a soldier out this motherfucker by yourself if you have to. All by yourself if you have to. Especially if you're a man. Back in the day, they had to go out and hunt. Some of them had to go out by themselves and find food for their family. They had nobody else. They had to leave the family there. The women and the kids had to stay. They had to go out on their own. Might not come back for a week or two. Who knows? Who knows how it was back then, but I know the motherfuckers had to go out by themselves sometimes and hunt for shit. Same thing as now. It's just a different concept, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing, man. Know your worth, man. Because when you, if you are becoming a great woman or man, most people aren't. So that's going to set you apart. The more you keep doing this, most people are going this way. You, you're going this way. It's very few people going this way with you. You're not the only one. But it's very few. So when the ones, you know, want to play around and all that, they just fall in farther and further. They're going to look up at you one day like, damn, I could have had him. I could have had her. I fucked up. I fumbled. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm out of here, y'all. <laughs>